Um, hello, everyone. Uh, thanks. Thank you for your interest in this presentation. My name is Fei Tao. Um, the title of my presentation is Learning Damage Constitutive Law of Composites via Lamination Theory Enhanced Advocates PDN Mechanics System. Um, a composite material is usually um, is heterogeneous and usually anisotropic. Many studies have been done to model the constitutive behavior of composites. The multi-scale modeling, such as RE analysis, is typically used to compute effective properties based on microstructure. But the multi-scale analysis needs full set of engineering constants of the constituents of composites, and also the mi microstructure information. So this information are not easy to obtain from experiments. Some other researchers also try to construct constitutive law based on their composites', composites homogenized behavior. For example, for a laminate progressive damage analysis, some researchers assume the lamina failed to follow certain failure criterion and the damage evolution law. However, the failure criterion and the damage evolution law needs to have their presumed expression, which can cause the inaccuracy of simulation. Uh, recently, Deep Neural Network has received rapidly increasing interest in their composite material study. These studies are seeking to replace the material constitutive law with DN. There are some researchers try to use DN to discover unknown constitutive laws based on their experimental observation. So previously, um, we, uh, we did some work to couple the artificial neural network with finite element so that the FE can be used to derive the training data for uh, neural network based, uh, based on their uh, experimental observation. Uh, we further developed uh, Abacus DN to couple um, DN with their commercial FE code, Abacus, which avoids rewriting their FE based on their automatic differenti differentiation package. Uh, however, there are still some challenges of applying their Abacus DN to learn their composites constitutive law. So um, the first issue is that Abacus DN is not robust enough to learn the severely damaged material. This is because the damage in the material will cause the uh, degradation of the material stiffness. A severely damaged material might have the stiffness global uh, diagonal terms become very small. Uh, when applying their Abacus DN to learn such material, the optimizer might shift the diagonal terms of the stiffness to have a negative value. Then this causes the strain energy density no longer positive, uh, positive. So that is physically does not make sense. And the Abacus will terminate it and the, the analysis, uh, uh, and the, the, and the analysis will be felt. So another issue is that the composite material is usually manufactured to be a laminate with multiple direction um, layup angles. And the Abacus DNN requires exp explicitly creating the FE model to account for every layer of the laminate. Then the training of such model is similar to perform optimization uh, of a direct numerical simulation. The cost of the training can be extremely expensive. Well, to solve the convergence robustness issue of severely damaged material, the abacus is coupled with the um, positive definite deep neural network to form the abacus PDN. To achieve that, um, we utilized the, the Shalowski decomposition. Um, the DN is trained to um, build a mapping between the strain and the Shalowski decomposed the lower triangular matrix. Then, the reformed stiffness matrix can be guaranteed to be uh, positive definite. Um, uh, the forward propagation of such system uh, can be expressed uh, with this figure. Then the loss function is expressed here. Uh, this equation is subject to the PDE constraint. This is because the UI is solved by the PDE solver. And then uh, with the chain rule, we can uh, derive the modified back propagation equation which is shown here. So um, to enable Abacus PDN to learn the lamina constitutive law based on the laminate surface response, we propose to couple lamination theory with Abacus PDN mechanic system. So the 
lamina constitutive law can be represented by the ABD matrix. And the, the ABD matrix are defined here. So uh, to couple the lamination theory with PDN, we let the neural network to learn the lower tri triangular matrix of the Q matrix. And then this Q matrix will be, um, will be used to form the ABD matrix. Thus, the ABD, the ABD matrix will be a function of the neural network parameters. And this data flow can be summarized in this figure. Uh, well, to demonstrate the framework, um, we use the uh, multi-directional laminate with the uh, 0, 45 symmetry lab angles. And uh, then um, uh, this is the model we used uh, for demonstration. And for this model, uh, it is clamped at the left surface. And then we apply a displacement at the, um, at the right surface. So the material properties and the strength parameters are listed in this table. And then uh, by the trial and error um, convergence study tests, we, we show that uh, this model converts with uh, 368 element size. So um, the PDN is said to learn the Jacobian of the stress strain relationship. It has the general expression shown here. Uh, since the lamina can be assumed to be transversely isotropic, then we can simplify the Jacobian into this expression. Then for this problem, the, uh, neural, network, the neural network structure is, is expressed in this figure. So in this structure, each element has its own neural network because the degree of damage of the elements can be different. However, uh, all these neural networks share the same weights, uh, weights and the biases. So based on this neural network structure, we derive the explicit form of the back propagation equation, which is shown here. So um, here's the result of the, uh, of the learning. And uh, this plot shows the average the stress versus the strain at the right and the surface. So um, from this plot, we can observe that the Abacus PDN can learn the uh, global response very well. Um, as they learned and uh, observed the curves um, match each other very well. And uh, then, um, so these contour plots present their comparison between observed and learned displacement and the stress. And uh, again, these plots show that their observed and learned displacement and strain agree with each other very well. So note what they say, the stress um, is derived from Abacus it was not used to form the loss function. So this means that the Abacus PDN can learn the damage constitutive law very well for this scenario. So uh, additionally, we uh, presented the result learned without applying the positive definite constraint. So the results show that um, the Abacus DN can learn the constitutive law when the material is slightly uh, damaged. However, Abacus DN failed to learn the constitutive law of severely uh, damaging material. So in conclusion, the positive definite constraint was applied to the DN to form the Abacus PDN mechanic system. This system solved the robustness issue of learning uh, the constitutive law of a severely damaging material. Uh, then the, lam lam the lamination theory is introduced to the uh, Abacus PDN to enable Abacus PDN to learn the lamina constitutive law. And then finally, uh, the trained model show good agreement with their testing data. So this demonstrates that it is feasible to learn the lamina constitutive law based on the laminate surface response. Okay, thank you for listening. Then I will take your question.